Around the CSP programme, and I'm glad that a review has been done on that, and I take it that you're saying it will be completed uh, by the end of the year. Um, will those recommendations be made public, and when, they, when will they be made public? And I'll tell you the reason I'm asking you. It's because a lot of the CSP programmes are finding it very difficult just to meet the overheads. Um, so it's the, the, the minimum wage that's obviously required that they need to pay out and the increasing overheads in terms of insurance and in terms of other things. And I suppose what I'd ask you is that they would know where they stand as soon as, as possible. But that, so you can't operate a programme and be all the time wondering, you know, can I switch on the light or can I, you know, afford the little things. You, you can't be strategic and focused in the work that you need to do and be worrying about next week's bills or not. So the sooner that review is done is the better, but it's important that the recommendations are made public. And I'd ask you to maybe even in the interim just have a look around the minimum wage there and the ability of some of the uh, CSPs to, uh, to pay that. And just, you know the problems we have at insurance and you know the problems these groups have. Um, I know we're trying to tackle it in many different ways. We have legislation in ourselves on the books that we're hoping to have passed before Christmas that may help it. But the insurance companies in terms of what they're demanding of some of these groups is just absolutely bonkers. In relation, again, you talked about the review of the CSP and I just want to deal with that first. Uh, the reason I'm doing the review is exactly what you're saying, to give reassurance to, to groups, uh, to give them the, the, the reassurance that, that, that I want to protect the ones that need protection. And you know that more than anybody else. You were in, you were in that, um, particularly in the, in, the, in the commercial sector yourself. And there's work that's been done out there that you know in North Mayo and places like that. If we didn't have the commercial services programme, we wouldn't have the services. And as, as you know in relation we the, the, the government and the department does not fund, uh, we fund part funded, we don't, part, we don't fund at all. But in relation to the minimum wage, I saw a difficulty there last year. And what I did was I had kind of an equalisation fund. I took a million from, 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 I diverted a million euros. I got Pobble, I didn't ask anybody to make any applications. I let Pobble because they have assessed all the programmes. And Pobble had all that information there. And where people had money in, in, the, in the bank and where people had money, naturally enough, we didn't have to support them and we support the weaker ones. And out of that, I, I allocated a million euros around the country to the groups that needed it most.